Ukrainian strike hits Russian barracks in occupied Melitopol. Complex reportedly struck by Himmer's rockets may have been a stronghold of Wagner mercenary group that fights for Kremlin. Ukraine has attacked a barracks in the Russian-occupied city of Melitopol with some Ukrainian sources claiming scores of Russian casualties. According to witnesses, 10 explosions were heard, although some of those may have been from Russian anti-aircraft systems. Ukrainian officials claimed scores of Russian dead and injured while Russia conceded a handful of casualties. Video footage posted on social media showed what was claimed to be a Russian barracks in the southern city engulfed in a fierce blaze with some claiming the site was being used by the Wagner mercenary group. Another video showed rescue workers in the ruins with several bodies visible. The site, a former resort and hotel complex next to a church in the city known as the Hunter's Halt, was being used as a barracks with most of the casualties apparently in a mess hall when it was hit. The strike on Melitopol, reportedly with Himar's rockets, was one of several overnight on Russian bases. Explosions were also reported overnight in the Russian-occupied Crimea, including Sevastopol and Simferopol. Ukraine has attacked a barracks in the Russian-occupied city of Melitopol with some Ukrainian sources claiming scores of Russian casualties. According to witnesses, 10 explosions were heard, although some of those may have been from Russian anti-aircraft systems. Ukrainian officials claimed scores of Russian dead and injured while Russia conceded a handful of casualties. Video footage posted on social media showed what was claimed to be a Russian barracks in the southern city engulfed in a fierce blaze with some claiming the site was being used by the Wagner mercenary group. Another video showed rescue workers in the ruins with several bodies visible. The site, a former resort and hotel complex next to a church in the city known as the Hunter's Halt, was being used as a barracks with most of the casualties apparently in a mess hall when it was hit. The strike on Melitopol, reportedly with Himar's rockets, was one of several overnight on Russian bases. Explosions were also reported overnight in the Russian-occupied Crimea, including Sevastopol and Simferopol. Air defense systems destroyed two missiles, for reached their targets, Yevgeny Balitsky, the Moscow-appointed governor of the occupied part of the Zaporizhia region, said on the Telegram messaging app. He said a recreation center where people were dining was destroyed in the Ukrainian attack with Himar's missiles. The exiled mayor, Ivan Fedorov, said on his Telegram channel that the attack hit a church that Russians had turned into a gathering place. Vladimir Rogov, another Moscow-installed official in the Russian-controlled part of Zaporizhia, said a fire caused by the strike engulfed the recreation center. He posted a video of a structure in flames. Himar's multiple rocket launchers have been among Ukraine's most effective weapons in the war, delivering precision fire on hundreds of targets, including Russian command posts. On Friday, the United States said it was sending more aid to Kiev to strengthen its air defenses and defeat drones. The city of Melitopol is seen as the next major objective for Ukrainian forces in the south of the country since Ukraine retook the major city of Kherson. With Ukrainian forces now operating on the east bank of the Dnieper River, opposite Kherson, and with their forces now able to place Himar's rocket systems on the west bank, Russian forces in the city have come under an increasing threat. Alexei Arestovich, an advisor to the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, said Melitopol, a major industrial and transport center occupied by Russia since March, was the key to south. All logistics linking the Russian forces on the eastern part of the Kherson region and all the way to the Russian border near Mariupol is carried out through it, Arestovich said in a video interview on social media. If Melitopol falls, the entire Russian defense line all the way to Kherson collapses. Ukrainian forces gain a direct route to Crimea. There was no immediate comment from the Ukrainian army about the attacks. Earlier in the day, the Central Command of Ukraine's armed forces said it had been conducting strikes on Melitopol. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for more up-to-date news.